welcome back to Giovanna Designs. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. And I hope you like it enough to stick around and subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. Thank you for being here again. So we are continuing on with blanketing my friend Lori's house with all of my paintings. <laughs> uh, we're pretty much doing a different style and a different color scheme for every room. And other than the color scheme, she's really given me full creative control. So this has been a super fun project for me. Um, we are now on painting number four. And I believe we're gonna stop at five, so we'll see. Uh, this is for one of the other bedrooms, and we're gonna be using two 18 by 24 inch canvases um, in sort of an unexpected orientation as well. So they're going to be, you know, 18 by 24 lengthwise this way, but then stacked one on top of each other. So it's gonna be really cool. It's a very, very tall room. Um, exceptionally tall bedroom. I think the ceilings are like 15 or 18 feet. Um, so it's a really cool room to begin with. And we're using a lot of really earthy colors. Um, my intention for the piece, what I'd like to do is to have it be really almost like vine-like going up the wall um, in a leafy sort of wild pattern. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so what are the colors we're using? So I created for the base coat a custom color that's kind of sage. I'm gonna hold the stick up to the camera because I don't think if I hold the container up that you'll be able to see it because there's not actually that much in there, um, enough for me to tilt. Because if I tilt it too far, then it's gonna spill over the table. If I don't tilt it enough, you won't be able to see it. So I hope you could see that one. Uh, for contrasts, what we're doing. For the lighter contrast, we're gonna do um, Artist Loft Metallic White. For the dark, we're doing Amsterdam in Oxide Black. For greens, we are going with Modern Masters in Cool Mint. I've got Arteza in Pearl Lime Green. That's going to be nice and bright. And then I've got Amsterdam in Thalo Green for my beautiful emerald. Uh, for the metallic then, I'm doing Prism Port in Golden Honey. And this is a really pretty color. You're going to see how this kind of pops off the rest of them. Okay, so that's about it. Let's get right to it. Okay, we are back and I'm excited and ready to go. I have really love doing any kind of big pieces like this. They're just so much fun. All right, this is really thin. Maybe a little too thin, but we're gonna work with it. <laughs> we'll see, I'm gonna need more than that. This is a big canvas. So these are two 18 by 24s. And they're gonna be a nice big piece on the wall. So usually you would orient it the other way you would make them side by side this is going height wise because this room is super tall and it's going to go over beds so it's going to be a really cool effect all right let's blow this out Yeah, that base coat was very thin. As you can see, I splashed a lot. I'm also getting used to this new dryer. I'm not used to it yet. So, you know, <laughs> painted the wall a little bit. It's okay, it's a garage, it's fine. <laughs> All right, so where do I wanna go with this? Let's see, I wanted to start here and kinda of go, oh, there goes another one. What is going on with me today? Uh, All right, that and then there. And then I wanna go here. And this one, I'm not gonna do any more there now. Kind of that way and there. That's cool. And then over here, I think. Yeah, I like that, okay. Mm, do I want anything a little more down at the bottom? No, I think that's good, okay. There's that. And if you guys have seen me do a lot of um, Colored base, see these are, it's so hot in here that they're sticking, that's what's going on. Okay, I need to make sure that's not gonna squirt on me. Yeah, it just did, okay. Uh, if you guys have seen me do a lot of colored bases before, you know, I usually do start with the white. I find it really adds a very glowy element to the piece, and it looks really, really pretty because it helps the top colors kind of pop off of the back. Oh, I got something in there. Watch what happens is you keep pushing it and then it ends up with a big giant blob coming out at the same time. All right, I gotta get this out of here. I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. So if you can see what's happening, my base is swallowing up my top colors, which is because it's too thin. And it's fine, I can work with it. Once I blow it out, the top colors will come back. They're not gonna disappear, you know, forever, but they're gonna sink a little bit. 
into it right now. I don't want to put too much more in there because then I'll have too much of the dark green. All right, let's get that back black in there. And this is that cool mint. And just follow your lines. They don't have to be perfect, they're gonna be blown out. Well, you know what I avoid is what I just did there, those, which is the little speckle splashes. You kinda of don't want those in there because if you don't then blow over them, then you end up with spots where you don't want spots. So before I blow it out, I'm just gonna grab those and dab them with my finger. And now my gold. That's a polypore gold. Golden honey. I'm really a fan of this color. And it's very similar to the Deco Art 24 karat gold, but I find that it accents everything a little bit more and takes over a little bit less. So I really, really like it. Okay, let me grab the little speckles that are way out of line, like right here. That we don't want there. And then this guy, I know I'm not blowing over you. I know I'm not blowing over you or you. You gotta go before I start. I think that's good. One more here. Okay. All right, so let's cover our edges now. I want this to really stand out, so I'm not gonna blow over too much. Just gonna sort of blend them. They're gonna flow naturally because the, the paint, the base paint is so thin anyway. All right. Oh, I saw a blob. I have to grab that before I start blowing out too. Excuse me, you don't belong there. Okay. All right, let's pull oh, up. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Gotta torch a little bit first. Okay, let's blend. Ooh, I gotta watch where my cord is going. Okay, so since I want this to be a very leafy effect, I'm gonna be going kind of all in one direction, this way and that. I want you guys to get out of that mindset that you know everything has to be up, down, up, down, up, down. It doesn't have to be. You can go in any direction you want to make different effects. All right, here we go. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Okay, let me get over here.
Wow. Oh, I love this. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, this came out so, so pretty. I lost a lot of my gold. I thought I'd have more gold in there, but I do still have a lot of it. It's popping up through, from the bottom through, but I thought I'd have it, you know, right on the top, but it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay. All right, now I have to look and see what I want to do. First, blast it with a neat gun again. Here we go in torching. Gotta get rid of all these crazy bubbles I just created. As I'm going around, I am creating a little bit of texture here and there as well. A little bit of added element in there, like there. See that? Burning that top layer off of the paint brings forth those little baby cells, which sometimes you want and sometimes you hate. <laughs> Depends on the effect you're going for. see what we're gonna tweak here well first things first there's a few different little itty bitty splashes that I'm not in love with I don't know about that one do I want to keep you yeah I think I'll keep you these little guys over here these gotta go these are just bad and again I'm just that's me getting used to my hair dryer and how powerful it is I'm not used to it being that forceful things are blowing a lot stronger I, you know, I have to learn to kind of back up a little bit and keep myself a little further away from the painting. Maybe we go just down a little bit more on there. Yeah, like these splashes are bugging me. Go away. Okay, let's see. All right, so now let's look at composition. And what I want to tweak, not much, honestly. I want to bring this back down a little bit because whenever you start right on an edge, sometimes, and you're blowing this way, sometimes you'll get this little kind of deposit of color that nothing happened to, and there's really no way to avoid that. So I blow backwards, and that then brings all of this nice design down, or you can tilt it if you want, but I like the rest of the design where it is, so I don't want to mess with that. There, that's better. Now it doesn't look like it's, you know, untouched. <laughs> and this is beautiful. Ah, I'm gonna put my hand in all the paint. <laughs> it's just, there's no way to avoid that one. <sighs> okay, let's see. I'm gonna block you guys for a second. Oh yeah, really pretty. Okay, I think I'm just gonna flare some of these edges and I'm good. I wanted it really leafy, so it sort of works the way that the hairdryer blows it out. I changed my mind about that, get rid of it. This I love though, oh, really pretty.
That's gorgeous. I am done. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys down now and show these beautiful details. What a pretty piece this came out to be. All right, I'll take you right down. Okay, so unfortunately, I still have to kind of show you the whole piece sideways <laughs> because there's no way for me to show it to you up and down in that way. So I'm gonna turn the camera and then show you all the details here. So give me a second, here we go. Don't mind the spinning, don't get dizzy. All right, so here's the bottom piece. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it came out so pretty. There's so much detail in it. And lacing is gorgeous. I got my little baby cell families. Y'all know I love those. <laughs> and there's that beautiful sparkle of the prison pour. Isn't that pretty? Please don't mind the leaf blower in the background. I'm still in a garage. <laughs> But look at that, there's so much going on. It's so pretty. And then this, I love this little swoop. I did nothing to create that. That was all the hair dryer's movement. It just, oh, I love it. It came out so cute. And then on this side, and the gold really did come back. It did. It sank for a minute as I was blowing it out and then it popped right back through again with the cells. Look at that lacing, isn't that pretty? Yeah, I'm in love with this one for sure. Now this was a commission piece for my friend Lori. That house again, we're doing one more after this for her home. Um, and then we're good, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, I'm seeing a spot here I'm gonna wanna see. I wanna get rid of that little guy over there in the top corner. That's gonna have to go. All right, bear with me as I move over to the second panel here. I have to kinda climb around it. <laughs> to get over there, there we go. All right, so here's the second panel, the top panel. Really different from the first, but of course it's, you know, it works really well together. Look at that lacing on the gold. Ah, oh, I'm dying. It's so pretty and it's sparkly and gorgeous. See if I go in this direction. How much it sparkles and glitters. Gorgeous. I love the polypore colors and you know, I just got, I mean, of course I love my primary elements, but, um, and I got a new set of primary elements that are really pretty, beautiful for fall. It's called Ancient Treasures and I will show you that next time, next pour I do. But um, yeah, look at that, isn't that great? I'm getting sidetracked, sorry. But um, the polypore colors, I just got some Australian Floetrol and I just, just played around with it on the plastic to see what a difference it would make. So easy to make cells and beautiful blooms. Oh my goodness. You literally just put the polypore colors down. You do nothing to them straight out of the bottle. Put your cell activator with the, the paint and the Australian Floetrol and it just, it's gorgeous. The butterfly wing effect comes right to you. You don't even have to do that much with it. So it's really, really easy to do. And yeah, there's no mixing or anything. It's gorgeous. Easy, easy, easy. So, okay. Again, I'm going to turn you sideways a little bit here just to show you the whole piece. Don't forget, you get the 20% off of anything you order from ColorArt by using my code Giovanna620. And that's it for today. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with me. I had an awesome time. I love this piece. I hope you love it too. And again, this was a commission, but if you're interested in commissioning a piece from me, you can email me, giovannadesigns at gmail.com. If you're interested in any of my current works for sale, there's only a few left um, that I have in stock. Everything else is pretty much sold out, but check out my Instagram and anything that's not marked sold is still available. Okay, thank you guys. I will see you next time. Bye.